This is Algebra 2 with Trig, working on Unit 5A, the quiz review. We need to simplify, so we're working with the cube root of 125. We know what times what times what makes 125. The cube root of 125 is 5, and 5 to the 4th power. 5 to the 4th power is 625. This is a negative fractional exponent. So a negative exponent means you're going to put the 64 to the half power into the denominator. The half power means that you're going to take the square root, so the square root of 64 is 8. Here, we're taking the fourth root of a negative number. Well, you can't take the fourth root of a negative number. You just uh, indicate that. The fourth root, hit math, down to 5. The fourth root of a negative number will get you an error. You can't take the fourth root of a negative number. Nothing times itself four times is going to be a negative answer. No solution. Here we want to add these together. We cannot call that 51. That's not how this works. Your like terms have to be the same. Your radicands have to be the same. So I want to use the fourth root. The index is 4. So I need to figure out which of these numbers goes into 48. 16 goes into 48 three times. And I can't break 3 down. So the fourth root of 16 is... The fourth root of 16 is 2. So that gives me 3, fourth root of 3. Here, we might be able to simplify up and down, it looks like, but we can also take the square root of the top. We can take the square root of the bottom. I know the square root of 81 is 9. We're not worried about pluses or minuses here because we're not taking the square root of both sides of an equal sign. We're just taking the square root of 81. It's just 9. Now, to work with... 27, I need to think about which ones of these numbers goes in, this is the square, which one of these numbers goes into 27, and it's only 9. So 9 times 3 is 27, so I know the square root of 9. And I can reduce... So this is the cube root of 3 over 3. Here, my radicands are not the same. They need to be the same. So, again, I'm working with the cube root. So when I look at my table, you can look at it here also. I'm working with the cube root. Which of these numbers goes into 24? Well, 8 goes into 24. I know that. 8 times 3 makes 24. Cube root, which of these numbers goes into 81? Well, 8, 8 doesn't go into 81. 8 goes into 80, but 8 doesn't go into 81. 27, 27 times 3 is 81. We knew it had to be a 3. If this is a 3, that's the leftover's got to be a 3. So we're going to take the cube root and the cube root. So the cube root of 8 is 2. 
and I'm left with the cube root of 3. And the cube root of 27, we decided it was 3. And my radicals are exactly the same. So this is 8 cube root of 3 plus 15 cube root of 3. So that gives me 23 cube root of 3. Here's your power table. Got it part of the quiz. Or part of the review at least. Presume it'll be on your quiz. Here we have bases that are the same. So I'm going to take 2 minus 1 third and y, which is 1 minus 2 thirds. I need bases to be this, or uh, uh, denominators to be the same. So I'm going to multiply by 3. 3 to the top, 3 to the bottom. I'm going to leave that one the same. Here I want my denominators to be the same. So 3 over 3 makes 1, minus 2 thirds. That gives me 5 thirds. And that gives me 1 third. The cube root of 40. Cube root. Well, which of these numbers goes into 40? I know 8 times 5 is 40. So I'm going to use the cube root of 8 times 5. I could use 4 times 10. I could use 2 times 20. But I have to keep breaking that down further. I know the cube root of 8, so that's a good one to use. So I know the cube root of 8 is 2. I don't know the cube root of 5, so I'm going to leave that inside the radical. Looking for the cube root of something to the fifth power. Well, I'm going to take 3 of those 5 out. So that leaves 2 of them left inside. If you had 5... X's inside your radical and you circled up two of them that pulls that out as a cube root and that leaves two left inside Y there's not three of a kind so that's just Y and there is three of a kind here there's our answer you gotta have your index correct cube root again this is the cube root of 8 times 2, that makes 16, x to the 7th, y squared. This is not x cubed, this is the cube root. This is 27 times 2, I know this is a 2, a cube root of a number times 2, this is a cube root of a number times 2 x to the fourth, y to the fifth. So I know the cube root, so this is five times two, y. Two is gonna be left inside. Three goes into seven. How many groups of three are there in seven? There are two groups. So this is x squared. I don't have any more y's that can come out. So I'm going to have the cube root, 2 didn't come out, 2 of the x, or 1 of the x's didn't come out, and 2 of the y's didn't come out. Here the cube root of 27 is 3. I have an x out there. I'm not touching the 2. I can pull out an x, another x. I'm leaving x inside. I can pull out one of the y's. That's going to leave me a 2 inside. That's going to leave me an x inside. And that's going to leave me two of the y's inside. Remember, both radicals have to be exactly the same. This is 10y x squared, cube root of 2xy squared. 
minus 21x squared times y cube root of 2xy squared. That, notice our like terms. This is 10x squared. The order doesn't matter in multiplication. So 10x squared times y, 21x squared times y. They're the same. So negative 11 x squared y 2xy squared. Here we're solving. This is 3 x plus 2 to the third power equals 24. Then I have to divide. So I've isolated my value that's being cubed. Um, kind of gave the answer there. That was kind of weird. Where did, where did the 8 come from? I divided by 3. And I divided by 3, which gives me 8. Now I'm going to take the cube root. When you take the cube root of something cubed, you get that value. Cube root of 8 is 2. It's not plus or minus. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, I changed my numbers. I'm not supposed to. This is x plus 2. This needs to be x plus 2. Minus 2. I get 0. Because when I plug in 0, 0 plus 2 is 2 cubed is 8, times 3 is 24, minus 5 is 19. I checked my answer. Here, the only thing we can do is divide. You definitely won't distribute. And when you take the square root, which is an even root, you're going to get plus or minus. That means you have to write it twice. So you add 1, and don't forget to add 1 again. Don't change part of the binomial. Don't make that plus or minus. When you take the square root of 4, that's your plus or minus. When you plug in 3, you get 3 minus 1, which is 2. Squared is 4 times 5 is 20. Plug in negative 1. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Squared is 4 times 5 is 20. So I isolated my x to the fourth with my coefficient. So now I got to move my coefficient over. I don't like to divide by a fraction. I'm going to divide by three or multiply by three. That gets rid of my denominator. So that's two x to the fourth. Fifty-four times three. Three times four is twelve. Three times five is fifteen. Plus one more is sixteen. So that's 162, divide by 2, which is 81, and when I take the fourth root, don't forget that that's even, so I get plus or minus 3. The fourth root of 81 is 3. Okay, last question. Working with a soccer ball, we have the volume of our soccer ball, 3,591.36 equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, formula you learned in geometry. Multiply by 3. Definitely need a calculator for this one. So 3 times 3591.36 gives us 10,774.08. That leaves us with 4 pi r cubed. We can divide by 4 pi, but when you type that in your calculator, you have to have parentheses around that. 
divided by, you could divide by 4, then divide by pi. That would work great. Divide by parentheses 4 pi, you have to have parentheses. And then we'll take the cube root of both sides. You've got to have your 3, your index number's got to be a part of it. So we go to the math button right there. And we pick the cube root in this case, which is 4. And hit enter. So the cube root. Now answer button is down here. A N S. So I'm going to hit second. Answer. And that puts the A N S. That means your previous answer will go in that spot. You don't have to type it in. Hit enter. We get 9.499, which is approximately 9.4. Nine point five centimeters. Good luck.